Hey everyone, Lost Infinity with the Police Roleplay Community. A recent update to Emergency Response Liberty County included server packs. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to get the custom livery pack, show you its features, and explain how to create and use your own liveries. The first step is buying the actual pack. Join a public server and hit menu in the top right corner. Click create server. Enter your server name. In this situation, we're going to use test2. Click create. It'll prompt you to buy the server, which is 50 Robux. Buy the server. Now it'll teleport you to the server. You're going to want to leave that game and rejoin a public server. Now that you've rejoined a public server, go up to the menu in the top right corner again. Select servers own servers and then click test 2. In this situation that's the name of my server. I'm going to hit upgrade packs and then for this tutorial we're going to be buying the custom livery pack. So click custom livery and then click purchase. It'll prompt you to purchase the custom livery pack. Now that it's been purchased you can go back to own servers and join your server. Now that you are in your server go left of menu Hit you are in a private server, click here for more info. Hit edit server settings. Then custom livery pack. Hit edit to open the editor. You will see you have three options. River City Police, Liberty County Sheriff, and Fire Department. We're going to start with Fire Department. And then select a vehicle. We're going to start with the tanker. Hit add new. It'll change the vehicle to all white and now you can customize the colors. So click the color next to inner stripe and you can change it to red, blue, pink, green, any color you'd like. Outer stripe. And then the chevrons which will be in the back. As you can see the colors change there. Text decal and cab color. You can make these any color you'd like. And then you can come down to vehicle name or livery name. We'll call it Tanker 23. You can edit the vehicle color here. So we'll make it a red vehicle. And then you hit submit. You can come back and edit the vehicle at any time after you've submitted it just by clicking the word Tanker 23. And then coming back through and doing the same thing you did the first time. Now that we've edited our first fire department vehicle, go to menu, join the firefighter team. Once you join, go to the vehicle spawner, hit E, spawn vehicle, select tanker, and edit packages. Then select the package of the custom livery, which is Tanker 23. Scroll down and hit confirm, and then spawn. As you can see, this spawned me in my tanker that I customize. And then you can continue and do the rest of the vehicles as you wish. Now that we have our custom fire truck colors done, we'll go back up to click here for more info, edit server settings, and open the editor. This time we'll select River City Police or Liberty County Sheriff. Pick a vehicle that you want to put a livery on. And then click Add New. Now that you have the police vehicle you want to put a livery on, you can use our preset liveries created by the Police Roleplay Development Team at policeroleplay.community slash livery. Once you open the website, you'll see a chart just like this. Since we're doing a sheriff's office livery, we're going to move to LCSO Design 1. On this page, we can see all the vehicle names, the IDs for each part of the vehicle, and then if there is no ID, it'll say not available. What you want to do is copy and paste every ID that is marked under each vehicle that you're going to use. Since we're doing the sheriff interceptor, we're going to go to the 2016 Falcom Scavenger. 
copy the back one ID. Then you'll take that ID and go to the editor and paste it into the back one section. Now that you have the ID copied, go ahead and paste it in the back one section. As you look at the back of the vehicle, you'll see that the livery is now on the back. We will then repeat the process for the left one and the right one. Copy left one. Take the ID you placed, place it onto the left one. Now you can see the left one is already on the vehicle. Do the same with the right one. Copy the ID. Take the ID, paste it in the right one, and now our livery is done. You can now enter a name. Create your livery name. And then go to vehicle color if you want to change the vehicle color at all. For example, we can make it a black vehicle. And then you can change the livery color. So if you want the text to be uh, red. And then you can change the livery transparency to make it more like a ghost vehicle. Get 0 0.8, 0 0.9. There you go. Now we'll submit for approval. So success, livery updated. Since this is a preset livery, the IDs are automatically accepted. So as you can see here, there's a check mark next to it, which means it's already been approved. So go back, and you can close out of the livery editor. We'll switch to the LCSO team. Then we will go to the vehicle spawner. Hit E, spawn vehicle. And we'll come down to our Falcon Interceptor. Select packages, livery test, confirm, spawn. As you can see here, we now have the preset livery in the game with the transparency and the color set up correctly. Now in order to make a custom livery, spawn it to your server, go to server settings, Go to custom livery pack, hit edit, open the editor. You can also hit need help at the top and center of the screen. It'll show you a list of different things that can help. And then select the team. Select the vehicle that you want to edit. We're going to edit the bullhorn prancer. Click add new. You'll need to go download our folder that has the custom livery templates. This can be found on our discord at discord.gg prc and it also can be found on our Twitter. Once you have downloaded the folder, it'll look something like this. Open the folder, it'll be a compressed zip folder. That'll give you a file folder, then you can open the file folder. Go down to Dodge Charger. And then you'll have all the templates for each side of the charger. Now you'll need a photo editor such as Photoshop or Paint.net. We have a quick example of how to make a livery. It's going to be Georgia State Patrol. I'm going to let this portion of the video play out and then I'll show you how to actually put it on your vehicle once it's done. Now that our livery is done, you want to go back to your Roblox profile. Click create next to the search bar. Go to my creations, select decals, and then choose file. You want to upload all the files for the vehicle. So as you can see here, we uploaded GSP left and then hit upload. Now that you have all your decals uploaded, go to experiences, hit edit 
Now it'll open Roblox Studio. Once you're in Roblox Studio, you're going to want to insert a part. You can do this by right clicking, hit insert part, click the part, you can move it, drag it, resize it, whatever you need. Hit view, view, toolbox, inventory, my images, and then you'll have the images that you just uploaded for the decal. You can resize the part using scale. Now double click up decal, it'll upload it to the part. As you can see here, the decal is now on the part. Double click the decal, go to view, properties, and then you can take the ID off the end of the link. Copy it. Go back to ERLC and paste it into the side that it's supposed to be pasted into. So this one's the right one. Paste and there you go. I'll let the rest of this video play out as you can watch the copy and paste and then I'll come back on in just a second. All right, now that all the IDs are pasted, you can change the vehicle color. For example, GSP has a dark gray top or light gray top. You can change the livery color if you want, if you don't want it to be realistic. For example, we can make it red. And then we can also change the transparency. So if you want to make it more transparent, uh, try to make like a ghost vehicle. Typically our ghost vehicles are around 0 0.8 in game already, so that would be the suggested number, but you can pick it and choose how you wish, and then enter a livery name. Sometimes the Roblox filter will filter out stuff, for example, GSP, so we're going to put Georgia State Patrol, and then we're going to hit submit for approval. Once you do that, you'll see a little time. That means that it's still being approved. This can take anywhere from 12 to 24 hours, but usually less than that. Alright, after we've waited a little while, we come back, go back to the team that we added the livery on, go to the vehicle. Now we see a green check mark. That means the livery has been approved and is ready to be used in game. Hopefully this tutorial helped everybody. If you have any further questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to join our Discord at discord.gg prc. If you want to share pictures of your custom liveries, you can do so on the picture channel. We would love to see everybody's work. Take care.